Jaylin Embryo EP. Let's chat about it. Hey guys, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning. Do I look tired? I'm tired, man. This year has been fantastic for music, but it's been long. Every time I feel like this this review cycle is kind of, you know, slowing down a little bit. Another artist comes along and drops something, which isn't a bad thing, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of done for the year. I'm going to be chatting about this today. I'm going to be chatting about the two new EPs from Tierra Whack tomorrow, and when it comes out, I'm going to be chatting about the new Roddy Rich album before I get into list mode. That being said, Jay Lynn, she is a Gary, Indiana-based electronic producer and DJ and more. She started to get her foot in the door around the time of some early EPs, but it was with her Dark Energy album that really put her on the map. This was a very tasteful blend of IDM, electronic, footwork, and so much more. At times it was very classy and beautiful, but it was also at times uh, just really great of a banger electronic album. Some really slick beats, some dark grooves, some really fantastic sampling as well. But her follow-up album, Black Origami, is one that I have a lot of complicated thoughts on. I mean, just listening to it again last week, I mean, this album is so much more intricate. It is so much more adventurous. It is incredibly textured. But for my taste in electronic music, I kind of miss the beats and the grooves of her debut full-length album. Outside of that, though, Jay Lynn has kind of been, you know, pretty quiet outside of some soundtrack work, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I, for one, you know, actually enjoy it when artists take a little time recording music, giving us something that we can really, you know, appreciate at the end of the day. Uh, but you know what? Hearing this new single leading up to this short EP, I was actually really excited to hear some music from Jay Lynn. I thought it was pretty good. Let's chat about it. CP starts off with Embryo, and honestly, like I said, it's really promising. It is upbeat, it's heady, it's tough to follow in the best way. It reminds me a lot of what brought me to Jalen's music in the first place. It's got a great beat, but it's also super forward thinking. It's a little progressive. These are the reasons why I started looking to Jalen's music to begin with. And on top of that, it has the numerous fascinating influences that showed up on her albums. It has the adventurous streak. It has the personality. This is a great track. And honestly, Autopilot, which follows it up, it's pretty fire, man. I love the tense beat, the very heady synths, the glitchy production as well. It's nothing wildly outside the box in Jalen's music, but it's all I really needed right now. It honestly just gets me in the mood to listen to the rest of her discography. It's just what I needed to hear. But much like Black Origami, I still have my reservation on uh, Jay Lynn's music. Connect the Dots is very average. This is the sort of track that would have showed up on Black Origami that I would have just shrugged at. It is infinitely more textured and adventurous, and it's on the airier side of her music as well. But just how flimsy it is and the much airier approach, like I said, it's just not what I come to the table for. I have a lot of the same thoughts on Rabbit Hole as well. This is on the more generic side of Jalen's music. Like, where is the progression here? That just seems completely out the window. It's okay, but like, as far as modern IDM, electronic, and footwork goes, this is so middle of the pack. This is barely even a banger, which is personally where I like hearing Jalen the most. You know, this is her first EP in quite some time, and you know, it had a promising start with some really great tracks. I mean, it's exactly what you think. They are heady, very intense, wonderfully textured bangers that pull from IDM and footwork and so much more. But the second half of this EP just falls short very quickly by being a whole lot less adventurous, a whole lot less progressive, and just really stiff. Just not what I come to the table for. I mean, I certainly get it. It's much more textured and, you know, maybe a little bit more adventurous to an extent, but it's just not what I come to the table for, for Jay Lynn's music. It's, it's an average EP. I'm feeling a very strong six on this bad boy, but let me know what you guys think down below. If you like the video, be sure to give us a like, give us a subscribe, and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future. And until next time, have a great day, guys.